you see this switch here is burning and for time being I just connect it directly and later on I can change when I get this switch so we'll remove the screw first Now let's have a look inside what is there. And now we have to remove the switch. And here we can see three wire. One is for indicator and the other two is for switch. Let's take out this wire first. This is switch. This one is switch. And this other one is indicator. Let's take out this wire and remove the switch. Okay. Looks it's totally burn. It's burning. So for time being, we'll just do it directly and later on we can change it for safety method. So you can see here this wire, this red wire is an input and this black wire also is an input and going directly to the coil. We'll connect this coil and this input wire, black one, and we'll leave this white wire. This white wire is for indicator, we'll connect these two together. You see this coming on. This is for indicator. No need this one. Mm -hmm. So now let's connect this wire together from input to the coil. Let's connect this together. And now we insulated it with black tape. We should insulate it nicely. Which so back the switched without any connection, we just put it there.
And now it's time to test whether it will work or not. Let's test. So now you can see a bubble is coming out. Oh, it's working. So you can try this and you can change the switch anytime you want it later. If you get chance to buy a new one, you can change this only the switch. See, it's working. It's awesome. Okay, time.